Matrix algebra is so useful, so important, maybe it's more useful than you have guessed when you combine it with derivatives, with rates of change. The types of things that you can do with matrix algebra are really fantastic. Here's a, a kind of a weird example that involves rates of change. Let's say there's a function f, and at an input a, I'm not going to tell you anything about f except its derivative at this point. I'm going to give you some big numerical matrix, some entries positive, some entries negative, some entries zero. And now tell me what you can about f. Let's say I ask you, how many inputs does this function have? Oh, well, that's really corresponding to the columns of the derivative. That's five. If I ask you how many outputs there are, that's how many rows are in the derivative. That's four. Now, what can you say about the sensitivity of the outputs of f with respect to the inputs at this particular uh, location? Well, uh, that's, uh, that's really what the derivative tells you. Let's say, for concreteness, that all the inputs are changing at the same rate. I want to know which output is most sensitive to that change, which output is least sensitive to that change. How would we do that? Well, let's say you look at the vector of rates of change that is all ones. So one, 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 one. Now hit that vector with the derivative, with that linear transformation. Algebraically, that's just a sum of the columns. But what does that mean? That means that uh, when we compute this, when we get those numerical values, negative 4, 25, negative 1, 8, that tells us which outputs are most sensitive, which outputs are least sensitive. Why? The derivative is a linear transformation. If I decrease all the inputs at the same rate, I'm just multiplying this by negative 1. If I increase at double this rate, I'm multiplying this vector by 2. And that lets us read off directly that the second output is 25 times as sensitive to these changes in the inputs as the third output. So that second output is most sensitive, and that third output is least sensitive to changes. And because of the signs in front of them, we can see that their, their sensitivity is in opposite directions. The one is increasing, the other is decreasing, or vice versa. So when answering these sensitivity questions, you're going to want to make sure to use absolute values and then just use what you already know about matrix vector multiplication to answer these questions.